Hello lovely humans and welcome back to my channel. In this week's video we are going to talk about how to transform your ugly freaking venue into a dream. Of course this will also still apply if you have a gorgeous venue which is we need the the hook catchy title to reel in the, the views. Before we launch into things this is the last video I will be making before we have the announcement of who has won the thousand dollar giveaway. If you have no idea what I'm talking about we hit 100,000 subscribers, so we're giving away a penny for each of them. Um, to <laughs> one lucky grand prize winner, I will link to the IGTV down below with all of the uh, stuff in it <laughs> for the giveaway. And just to clarify, no, you do not only have to be in the United States to enter. However, if you're outside of the States, because we're working with small businesses and we don't want them to incur the cost of that shipping, we are uh, going to be unable to gift you with those items, but you can still get access to the master plan and the $1,000 us cash so whatever that translates to there's too many of you to know conversion rates okay so let's talk about making your venue less ugly or more attractive depending on half full half empty perspective um this week i have the special honor of working with rent my wedding this is not sponsored like just to clarify i reached out to them and was like hey I really like your stuff. I actually interviewed Marie over on our podcast um, and really enjoy her as a businesswoman and their whole style of what they do. They have thousands, and I kid you not, thousands of five-star reviews. And I was like, can I get some of your product to bring it in front of my audience? And they're like, oh my gosh, absolutely. And they sent it to me. And I felt like this would be like a fantastic resource for you guys because I know so many of you are balling on a budget and you're booking spaces that aren't exactly what you want them to look like. There may be a spot you want to cover up or how do you highlight a space or add ambiance for an affordable rate. And that's where Rent My Wedding comes in, which is why I reached out and asked them to send in the stuff. So conveniently, we happen to have the Amsler, uh, this unique venue space that we could bring all this stuff to and test it out to see how well it would go. So here's what I was looking for. How easy is it to set up? How good does it look once it's set up? And how easy is it to tear down? Pretty simple parameters. And then the fourth thing that we're kind of tossing on in there is obviously we want to make sure it's affordable, but most of not all the stuff at Rent My Wedding is probably going to fall really nicely within your budget because of how affordable they've continued to strive to be. What are you doing? You can stop that right now. <laughs> Sir. And of course, I do have a code. It's Jamie Wolf for all caps. That will get you 10% off your order through the end of this year. So through 12, 31, 21. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. This longest Why do I have the longest intro ever? Okay. <laughs> the last no there's one more as you can see they were very excited said over of quite a number of things and unfortunately we only got to a portion of them in this video but I'm so excited to share these with you starting off with this sequin backdrop um, I'll put the prices for all of this stuff on the screen whether you are doing a professional photo booth or a DIY one, it's always a really good idea to have a backdrop because then it grounds the photo a lot better and it also conveniently shows the guests where they need to stand to make sure they're still in frame uh, for the more professional ones. Which, by the way, Rent My Wedding also offers photo booth rentals as well. I think it's for $299, which is great. And if pink is not your thing or it doesn't exactly work with your color scheme, they do have quite a few different options as well. And obviously this is time lapse for like attention span sake, but this was probably a total of five minutes and a majority of that was actually tweaking the fabric back and forth to make sure that the pipes were covered. And that took us maybe five minutes total. Like all the footage was probably about five minutes. The longest was adjusting the curtains so they looked pretty. I cannot believe that. It was so fast. <laughs> Next up comes pipe and drape over the stage. Now, this is a fantastic option if you have a window like this or you want to provide a backdrop for something like a dessert table or a sweetheart table, which is exactly what we've done with the stage multiple times. But no one wants to be staring at a breaker box when they're eyeballing what cupcake they want to get. So as far as the assembly of these are concerned, there are holes in the poles. One side is larger than the other. And they go right over this bolt and this nut. So the larger hole goes on the bottom, slides right in. This one actually technically could be a middle piece because two poles could go onto this, one on each side. And then we've got the, oh, you're starting it without me. I'm supposed to be time lapsing this. We've got another middle one there. And then this one right here is clearly an end piece because it doesn't have that plate with the two bolts going through it. 
but super easy assembly. We're gonna need more than one on that one. Super easy. Super easy. All right, so now we have, this honestly was also like, I think that even the time lapse of this was like six minutes long. So it did not take long to set up at all, but we still have to kind of figure out judging this a little bit because we don't want gaps. We only did three panels per section. We might have needed to do more. But look how quickly that just covered up the <laughs> ugly green stage. Well, mostly. Now we need a little bit of this though. That's crazy how dark that just made it. So we tried it up on the first stair, it didn't quite work. We pulled it down. And now we have the entire length covered. Almost the entire length. And now, up lights. So this is what the space currently looks like. Let's see, what time is it? Oh, my hair! It's 6.45. Uh, sunset's probably gonna be in the next 15 minutes or so. And so here it is right now. I'm amazed by how much light that blocks. That's awesome. Here's what it looks like right now. I love that little advertisement peeking through. Probably could work on our spacing a little bit. <laughs> but again, I feel like a broken record when I say this was like super fast setup. The part that took the longest was deciding the color that we wanted. And now we're gonna go ahead and kill some of these overhead lights to uh, see what it looks like. There we go. <gasps> that looks so cool! What? How freaking fun is that? Wait. Wait, I love this. Like, I know uplights are great, and I know they like they can do a lot of changes to a space, but like, how fun is that? Wait, I should do them in front of the... <gasps> I should do them in front of that. All right, so here's the back of the light. And then there's a couple of buttons on here. One of them says up, and I already know that we like C47. Oh, I should do it like that so you can see the lights. So chances are there's something in here that works with your color palette if you wanna go specific like that. But I like a warm white light so very much, so I'm gonna go toss that one out up there. So the base looks like this, and then the head just swivels. Okay, as the sun is setting, it just keeps getting dreamier. Even my husband, who was a total skeptic, <laughs> wasn't sure these were gonna look good. What'd you say? They look cool. Yeah, they look pretty sweet. Yeah, I was super skeptical. I was like, <laughs> what is that gonna do? But it, like, it, it makes it feel good. It does. Yeah. I don't know what it is. There's something about the right lighting, like just the string lights. And then those over there, like this would make for the perfect dance floor vibe. So that's why something like this is great. So you can still see around the room, it adds great texture, it adds a really cool vibrancy, but it doesn't make anyone feel like there is a spotlight on them on the dance floor, because then they're not gonna boogie as hard. So we're gonna go ahead and leave this for tonight and we'll come back and do uh, more probably another day, because there's still more that they sent in that box. So for the second day, I, this is when I saved all of the lighting options because I knew I'd be by myself um, and I could probably handle those solo. They were unbelievably easy to set up. So this is actually one of their uh, monogram lights. I think it's called the Gobo light. And for $119, you can get something that feels like a really large piece of customized artwork on the wall of your event space. And just to show a little more versatility of the uplights themselves, I changed it to a more purpley color, purpley, pinky, you know, your eyeballs probably work, and decided to just frame in the monogram instead. And then there's this nifty little guy. You just plug in. How cool is that? If you look closely, the stars are actually moving. You'd see a lot better if it was pitch black outside. But this feels like magic on the dance floor. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. <laughs> Next up came the Mac Daddies. 
That's not what they're called on their website, but they came in their own cases, so that's what we're gonna call them moving forward, all right? And these are some of their, what are they called? Texture and or pattern lighting. Each of the lights that they sent over came snugly fit into these custom cases with detailed setup instructions and a power cord as well. All right, now we're just going to twist this to focus it. Oh my gosh, no way. That's so cool. Okay, let me get the other one set up. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> okay, then this is how easy it is to work. If it'll focus, mode. Oh, here we go. Enter, enter. No way. Okay, I don't show you yet, hold on. Not gonna lie, this has a really cool effect, but I need to get the purple lights out of the way. There's just so many fun lights going on. Hey, train. All right, you ready? Okay, of course this will be much better when it's like full on after sunset, because I think sun's down, but it's still light outside. Ta-da! It's palm leaves. <laughs> so these projectors send out the image of palm leaves, and I, so I've got one here. They do recommend to put on a tripod or a table, but I'm just by myself, so I didn't want to move them. And I didn't want to move a table, because I'd be really tired. Pretend those boxes aren't there. Pretend, that, pretend the mood is, is right, and those boxes are not there. And then the other ones are right over here. Again, they suggest on a tripod or a table. So they're both overlapping a little bit, but I actually don't mind it. If you want to, and or if your venue has actual plugs around the space, unlike a 114-year-old building that has like plugs in that corner and that corner. You could probably get a little bit more creative with the placement of these, but this is obviously going to be such a fun addition, especially when the dance floor gets going. And again, you probably don't want these going during toasts. You know, I mean, you can, but don't have it pointed where you're seated. As well as the starry night moment. That is very cool. Again, if I had more plugs and or more extension cords, I would want that more centered in the room to really give it a better effect. Let me see if I can get it at least out here. And I'll turn off the uh, trees, tree leaves, lights. This. Okay. I realize I can't get it in the center of the room, otherwise it'll really show off the fact that there's giant pillars in the middle. So I just moved it over there. But still gives it such a fun look. I love that the little green stars are moving. And now I'm gonna give it a little bit to see if it gets a little bit darker. And in the meantime, I'm gonna tear down that right there and those over there and see how long it takes me. Obviously I had Elias here with me when I was putting everything together. So it's much speedier with two people. So it's gonna take me a little bit longer. Uh, I do not recommend doing this setup and tear down alone, but let's see, let's see how long this takes me. Don't fall over because you're not securely attached to the tripod. Please and thank you. That was literally, you can't even see me. That was literally three minutes. It's not boxed, but that was three minutes. Okay, let's go to the other one. A minute and 33 seconds. <laughs> and here's what it looks like after the sun goes down. You can see the shadow of the fan much more clearly in this because of the frames per second that I'm filming at. You don't even really see it in person. You do see the shadow of the, the ductwork, but again, it's not as clear in person. <sighs> and this is why you tear down with more than just one person. Focus on my face. I even ripped my pants and broke a nail. It was worth it though, because that looks really freaking cool. So now I'm gonna finish loading up before it's officially pitch black outside and uh, catch up with you in, at the outro. I get asked all the time, how do I transform my space? How do I make it, like, how do I cover this ugly thing? Or how do I add ambiance, but like, I don't have a lot of money. Like, how do I set the right vibe or the right tone? And by strategically using pipe and drape, which is the pipes and the drapes, 
Uh, and stuff like up lighting or a gobo light. I, I, th I think I'm saying that correctly. Or the twinkly texture, the st star situation. It takes even the most beautiful of venues if I do say so myself and just elevates them a little bit more to, to uh, show more character, cover up the bits that you don't want there, <laughs> and really do a fantastic job of setting the mood. I, I forgot the best part. <laughs> It's a five day rental for all of their items. Five days, you get them two days before your event, you send them back two days afterwards, but it is free delivery and free pickup. You heard me, absolutely free. It's included in the rental cost. So when you're done, all you gotta do is call somebody. You can drop it off at a FedEx location if you want to, or you can call them and they will come pick it up free of charge. Do you know how much my lazy soul loves this for all of us? <laughs> Of course, if you're interested in going to uh, rent my wedding, I'm gonna link them up here. It'll also be in the bio down below, as, as well as a list of the items that I used and their price points all down there, okay? And be sure to put Jamie Wolfer in the reference box uh, to get 10% off your order through the end of this year. So that's all we have for today, folks. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you are going through designing your space and feeling a little bit overwhelmed and you want some help, be sure to join the master plan and check out the style module where I teach you how to design your entire event using only Pinterest. Don't forget to jump on down there, like the video if you like the video, and subscribe to this channel for more tips and tricks for the modern day bride. And until next time, bye guys!